Okay, even my back end isn't looking so good, but I'm gonna back into this guy if I can. There we go. Okay, maybe a little too hard. Jesus Christ. What's going on, everybody? Dregast here, and welcome back once again to another episode of the best Besiege creation. Starting off with, we got something that we haven't seen in Besiege yet. This is obviously an RC car with remote control included. So yeah, I thought this was really cool. You can see the remote, remote control works exactly like the car does. So if you turn, uh, the remote control turns. If you go backwards, you go forwards. The remote control goes forwards and backwards. And if you use the boost, that thing goes down, and I guess that's boost mode engaged. It's also got some pretty cool cameras. You can obviously hold the controller, or at least, you know, play like you're holding the controller. You also get a first-person RC car view, and then you get kind of this uh, backwards view of the RC car as well. I'm going to play with the controller. This is an RC car after all, so I think it's going to be really fun to play around with the controller. And the cool thing about this controller is, as you can see, it actually follows the car around the map. I don't know how the controller does this, but the uh, creator mentioned that it uses magic. So I'm just going to conclude that it is indeed magic. You can see it is quite slow when you're not using the boost. When you use the boost, it gets a little bit of a pickup, and you can actually control it very similar to an RC car. I actually play with RC cars in real life. I know I'm a nerd. But I was amazed at how uh, similar this is to an actual real RC car. Now, the thing does like the wobble, and that's kind of what ruins this camera angle. I don't know why it does that. So we're just going to go go play around with this RC car. It's just cool that it added the remote as well. I'm curious to see. Oh, I was just going to say... <laughs> What the hell? How did my brick break out? But I was gonna say I'm curious to see how much this thing can take and then of course it broke right as I said that and fuck did it ever break? What the hell? It's all in pieces. All I did was a little freaking jump. All right Let's try it again because I was playing around with this off recording and it was pretty damn stable So I'm amazed that it broke right there. All right, we're gonna boost over this. There we go a nice little jump and yeah good landing I think I actually did break the back axle though as you can see Maybe I just had a very lucky run where it was extremely strong. I actually do like that things break though I mean obviously that makes besiege a little bit more fun. That's what's so special about it. You know what? I've never been in here So let's oh <laughs> I'm so small. I don't get crushed in there. Oh <laughs> And I just exploded my back axle. What the hell? Oh my god, this thing's still going though, and it must be four-wheel drive. Scale size, as you can see, the car is quite big though. I would say it's more like a one-fourth scale uh, RC model, which really never happens. But regardless, scale doesn't really matter. It's just cool that we got a little RC car, and most importantly, an RC car that looks like an actual RC car in Besiege. It's just so damn cool to see. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see how it does against inclines. Whoa, okay. Um, let me get back on my wheels. There we go, and turn around here. Okay, we're just gonna boost up this, why don't we? And yes, that little ledge there is too much for this little car. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. Bomb test, because it's fun, and it definitely didn't uh, succeed in that test. <laughs> This view is also really cool. A lot of you guys say I don't do first-person view enough, so here you go. That's, uh, oh, <laughs> that thing exploded this. I'm still working, though. Something definitely fell off, though. It feels a lot different, and you can see by the screen, a lot more wobbly. Let's actually go to the other view and see the damage. There's not much of a car left. What the hell is this thing now? So yeah, on flat ground and very small jumps, this thing's pretty damn good, but once it goes off the bigger jumps, it seems to just not have the suspension to deal with it usually. Of course, I finally fucking land one now, and I'm saying how it can't land big jumps. Go figure, right? Okay, one final jump here. I'm gonna get a running start because we haven't really put this thing up to speed yet, so here we go. Uh, it does go quite fast once you get a little bit of a runway, and there is a pretty good jump into a damn fruit stand. But yeah, very cool little car, and I do like the RC aspect of it. Uh, very unique design, the following controller is really neat, and these camera angles are just on point. They're awesome. Look at all these jumps I'm landing now. You know what, let's try and go up here. Watch me be able to land this now. Oh, nope. Okay, at least we broke it there. Next up, we got this sexy beast. This one's called the Vortex, and it's one of the coolest looking futuristic designs that I've seen in Besiege. Uh, also got some really cool mechanisms for going up and down. Uh, TNG for pitch, but you can see the actual front goes up and then the back goes down and kind of gives like a, a looping drag system, so it's even more precise, I would say. I've flown this, very easy to fly. 
And F and H for roll just bends these back ones sideways. Usually you don't see something like that. And uh, for yaw, you actually just turn the engine left or right. So really cool little design here. Uh, and it's got one of the coolest little takeoffs I've seen. So let's actually start this thing up and go off. So this is just one button. All you gotta do is press one button and it takes off, puts away its wheels and everything. It's absolutely fantastic. Not an overly fast design, but I mean, it just looks so futuristic and cool and it's very easy to fly. I mean, you guys know how well I fly things and I'm actually able to kind of fly this one, so that's nice. I actually think this is one plane I can land, so let's try and extract that gear back out. So there we go, the wheels are back out, and I turn my engines off, and... Oh, well, we broke a wheel, but we still landed the sucker, and if, if I tried once more, I assume I could get it. You know what, let's try taking off again. Look at that, this is just awesome. I love how it retracts the landing gear right away as well. The only downside for some people is this thing doesn't have any weapons on it, at least currently. I'm going to assume the creator might update this one, though, because it is so damn cool. <laughs> and there we go, right through the statue and into the mountain. What a lot of you guys have requested for me is to go to the top of the map and see if it freezes it like the other sandboxes. I've actually haven't really tried that, uh, so we're gonna go up here and see how high we can go. And this gives you a good reference at how big this map is. Usually we play around in the middle here, but there's so many mountains and everything around that you can go to as well. Uh, it's really cool. And I'm having a hard time going straight up with this thing. That's the one thing it can't seem to do very well. I mean, obviously it's not an overly fast plane, so it just keeps stalling. So I gotta get my speed back up and then go up again. Okay, but on the old map, we would have never been able to get this high. We're actually... I'm starting to lose visual of the map, so I'm thinking... I don't think there's the uh, free zone like the other sandbox map, so that's kind of cool. You can just keep going up and up. I'm assuming there's a limitation, but it's probably just a skybox. And we now are in space. The final frontier, guys. Alright, I'm gonna do something fun now. Obviously, there's no uh, free zone, I don't think, unless it's really high up. So we're gonna go straight down and see if the added speed will actually rip this thing apart when I pull up. So here we go. Gonna pull up. Oh, <laughs> I pulled down, and yes, it ripped it right apart. Oh my god, that's just the engine left over there. I'm trying to catch up to it, but <laughs> no, it just exploded on the ground. My god! God, that looks so realistic. That looked like an actual plane crash. That was awesome. So awesome, I actually want to see it again in slow motion. So that is just total drag ripping that thing apart. It seems like it did the exact same thing. The engine just ripped itself away from the wings, and now it's going to go straight into the ground and hopefully crash again. So let's follow this thing. Actually, it might go outside of the map. No, actually, there's... Oh, there's a wall in this map, I forgot. And it, it totally exploded. I mean, look at all the parts everywhere. That is awesome. Next up, we got this little tank design. Now, obviously, this is not a little tank at all, but I don't think you grasp how big this thing truly is. Until it's beside a castle. Like, what the fuck? So yes, nothing really special about this besides the sheer size of it. Now, it did suggest I play with this in invincibility, but as you can see, it is not on right now. And remarkably, it's keeping intact. So, what I want to do, obviously, the first thing I thought when I saw this is go right through the castle. We should be able to just crush it like a monster truck with this thing. And look at the gears even smoking from, I'm assuming, the friction. This is technically a two-track tank, but realistically, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's a ten-track tank, because each of these are a separate track. At least I believe so. Oh, that's not good. Something fell off already, guys, and it's flying in the air. What the hell is going on? Okay, but here comes the moment of truth. We are just steamrolling through this thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not even going fast, and just the sheer weight of this thing destroyed the freaking castle. Now, is it still intact? That's what I want to know. Will this thing be okay when it runs over this castle? Remarkably, it looks like it's still working quite well. I mean, we got a few things going off. I mean, I think these are just joints that broke. But aside from that, I mean, it's still upright, it's still working, it's still going forward. So pretty damn impressive for the sheer size of this thing, especially when it's not in invincibility. And yes, that castle has been completely obliterated. Let's see if we can actually go over these rocks even. Uh, I think this is where it's gonna break because it's just gonna put way too much pressure on this track. Yes, as you can see, I believe that track... Actually, it looks fine from over here, but yes, over here... 
Maybe? Oh yeah, everything's breaking, <laughs> okay. I thought for a second it'd be okay, but obviously, no, I think we hit the limit of what this big ass tank can do. <laughs> Still really cool to see such a big creation. I dream of a day where we can actually run these things at real time. I'm running it at like 19% right now, unfortunately. But somehow it's still kind of working. We're obviously not gonna get m much further though. Also, it can churn. It's just I would never wait around to see this thing actually churn. You can see the one track is going backwards. It looks like it's actually pushing the other track backwards just by the weight of it. Uh, that other one I th believe should be going forward. So this is going to be an extremely slow churner. You can see it's a little bit angled now, uh, but I'm not gonna wait around to figure out if it can churn or not. Next up, we got a weaponized castle. Now, I feel like this is what castles would look like if they were still around. I mean, this thing is just awesome looking. I, I love the added uh, banners and everything just swinging in the wind. But yes, obviously, this is quite a heavily weapon castle. Let's take a minute to appreciate the attention to detail, too. We got an actual cannon up here that looks like a cannon. A huge-ass gun from the front, a big gun on the top, some grenades, more guns. I mean, there's guns everywhere. And it's also, it looks like it's controlled via cogs, which is obviously very awesome. And all the weapons are on the same button, so that's always convenient. You can see they can go up, down, I believe, yeah, left and right as well. At least some of them can. You can see that left one doesn't seem to want to go left or right, but that's okay. We got enough firepower to not have that one move. Okay, so I thought it'd be fun to see which castle is indeed the stronger opponent. I think we know which one's gonna win here, but you know what? Let's just let everything go. Why not? There we go. We got rockets. We got a little bit of everything here. I just left let off at least nine different weapons all at once. We even got flamethrowers on this thing. Like, what the hell? This is seriously the inspector gadget of castles. <laughs> All right, let's try that again and appreciate every weapon here. So we're going to drop this down a little bit. Unfortunately, some of these guns are not going to be able to reach. Uh, so some of them are more for long range and some are for close range. I have no idea which one does which, so we're just going to shoot. There we go. There's the first one right at the door, and you can keep shooting it because I got infinite ammo on, which is what they suggest you use. I've obviously already destroyed that. We got, like, look how many fucking cannonballs are shooting out. Okay, this is one click. That's like 10 different cannonballs right there. We, we got a fucking minigun over here with cannons that just keep shooting them out. And of course, we got some rockets here as well. I believe you can do multiple rockets, yes. This is basically a weapon on wheels. <laughs> Seriously. I love how it's just an added castle as well, just for added comedic value. So yeah, very awesome little design here with a lot of different weapons on it. Moving on, we got this awesome little destruction derby. It's an eight-car derby with, I, what I appreciate is that the fact that each car is a little bit different. We got an SUV here, we got a truck, which is, I believe, what we drive. Some generic cars, a station wagon, another car. I mean, I just appreciate that everything is a little bit different. All made out of wood, so things are gonna break quite easily. Uh, we also got a first-person view and then an in-cockpit view. I actually don't really like those views, though. I mean, I, I guess I'll try it and see how it works, so let's go into the car cockpit and enjoy the added realism. So I did stop it because this thing goes right away. So there we go. Let's start this thing up and do a little bit of destruction derby. Now I already broke a piece off. It's hard to tell how my car's doing uh, with this because obviously I can't really see too much of it, but it's also got a boost so we can boost up here and <laughs> seriously hit people. There we go. Now I'm doing some damage. Now I'd like to go in reverse. Okay, I can look behind me, so let's try and go in reverse here and get some hits. Because obviously I don't want my front end to break. So there we go. We're going to start speeding up in reverse. And, oh, I hit this guy pretty good. Oh, you bastard. Get away from me, you little shithead. Oh my god, you are a bomb. Okay, so I think there's bombs in the cars. And maybe that's when you know you win. Uh, let me actually hit this guy really good. Oh, I missed him. You're lucky this time, sucker. Oh, yes, here we go. Big pile up. Oh, man, I just hit the wall so freaking hard. And that's why, again, I don't really like this camera angle, because it's hard to see anything. But you can see, a lot of the cars are kind of on their last legs here. Okay, even my back end isn't looking so good, but I'm going to back into this guy if I can. There we go. Okay, maybe a little too hard. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try this with a 3D view, shall we? Because I want to see some of this destruction. It's hard to see it when you're in first person. Uh, so we have the ordinary speed, and then we have a little bit of a speed boost as well, and that is really dangerous. You, you don't want to use that too much, but let's actually do a good hit here. There we go. Oh, yes. 
Unfortunately, it seems like it did more damage to my car than it did to the enemies. All right, so we got a big pile up over here. I am going to aim for them and boost into them backwards. <laughs> there we go. Well, I may not have won the destruction derby. Holy shit! Did that just do it like a chain reaction? But yes, I was saying I may not have won that destruction derby, but I'm assuming I would have been the fan favorite there. Looks like this guy just avoided the chaos that was those explosions. Okay, one more time, just because this is such an awesome little minigame. Alright, a big pile up here. Let's hit him a little bit. Oh man, I love I love how my front end just breaks right away. And this is why cars aren't made out of wood. Alright, here we go, here we go. Back and up, back into him there. Oh man, I hit that wall so freaking hard. Okay, I don't even know if I should use my back end or my front end now. You know what? I'm not gonna try and use my boost because I feel like that's what's screwing me up. So let's give him a little nudge. There you go, buddy. Uh, we got another big pile up over here as well. Okay, I'm gonna boost a very small amount. So here we go. Bam, and <laughs> oh yes. The problem is, if I knock out any of these guys, yes, they explode, but I also <laughs> explode, as you can see. Alright, let's try and get another one before we totally break, and I... I don't even know what the hell happened there. That was kind of impressive. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to end this episode of the best Besiege creations here. I hope you enjoyed this jam-packed episode filled with a bunch of different things. I mean, I had a great time today. Uh, there's a few weeks where it's like everything just feels so innovative and fun. And this is definitely one of those weeks where everything felt a little different than what it normally does in Besiege. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and liking. And I will see you in the next one. Ah!